Hey, Daniel, just how uh, how tough is it to replace all the leadership that you guys lost at, at linebacker from last year with Justin and Eli? Um, it's always tough to um, replace guys that has been a part of the program for uh, as long as they were. But um, I feel really good about the new le newer, newer leadership amongst uh, linebacker core and amongst our defense. So that's a part of it. It's next man up, man. People learn their new roles. Yeah, how much of that would you say is falling on your shoulders right now, as far as leadership goes? Uh, for sure, a lot, lot more. Um, me and Cody are the guys that uh, most people in the room are looking towards that are going to lead because we played the most football out that room. So, yeah, for sure, bigger role for me. As far as like on the field goes, or maybe your body changing, just what would have been the biggest changes and steps forward you feel like you've taken? Uh. Biggest change, um, just my mindset, like towards the game, I've been this like my third year, gonna be my third year coming in, just understanding like how I'm supposed to practice, how I'm supposed to take care of my body, just those type of things, just being an uh, older guy now and trying to show the younger guys how to do it too. I appreciate it, Daniel, thanks, man. Kels. Hey, Daniel, what, what are your first impressions of Wayne Jones since he's moved over to linebacker? Should have been here the whole time. <laughs> nah, no, nah, he's just a natural. Like, uh, he's a great uh, football player in the box, like uh, playing strong safety. It's not big of a big difference. Only the big difference was is, uh, his responsibilities, pass covers rise, but his run fits and stuff like that. He would, a lot of times be in the box is just like us. So it wasn't a big, uh, a big jump for him to just come down an extra five, six yards and come play with us. What uh, what's one or two things you're doing this off season to help you become you know more of like a number one linebacker that everybody can rely on game in game out? Uh, just like I said, like how I'm just approaching just everything, practice and uh, just extra work, uh, watching film and trying to just get better and uh, hold guys accountable and stuff like that, leadership wise and just trying to push guys. I feel like our linebacker group, I'm very excited about because we've been competing every day and pushing each other. And I feel like that's a big thing for me this year, just pushing guys and trying to get better. One more for you. How has uh, Eric kind of transitioned to to the room so far? Uh, he, he fit in well with us. Yeah. Everybody loved Eric in that room. And uh, we're really excited about him too. That's another guy that came to our room and it's just more competition, more guys that's going to push each other and work hard, and we needed that. All right. Thanks, Daniel. Yes, sir. Derek? Yeah, uh, Daniel, it might be a question you, you can't really answer yet, but at this point, who is the main leader or the main voice on the defense that everyone kind of looks to at this point? Uh, like you said, the spring ball right now and uh, – feel like a lot of guys are just trying to like become a leader amongst the defense. I feel like, you know, guys like Jay Mack and Eli Huggins, guys has been here a long time. They're, of course, they're going to have tremendous leadership amongst the defense, but I've been seeing a lot of other guys step up in uh, bigger roles and even newer guys that came like Julius Brent's corner. He's been showing leadership from the corner position. He's a new guy. So it just uh, right now we're just all just coming together and just pushing each other to be better. And it's a team effort when it comes to leadership right now. Is there one or two guys that have really popped this spring and kind of caught you by, uh, maybe not by surprise, but just kind of caught your eye with how well they've done? Uh, up front, D-line, Tim, D-tackle. Because I play, I see him obviously in front of me every play. And he's been, I love, love seeing him in front of me, make everything easier for me. Uh, uh, Nick Allen, uh, Julius Brantz. Um, yeah, it's been a, actually, it's been, it's been a lot of guys, uh, um, freshmen, safety. Um, it's been a lot of guys, yeah, that's been stepping up this spring. And I'm very excited to see uh, what we, what we're going to do this fall. And we've got a lot of work to put in, but I like what I see so far. There was a lot of adversity last year, some tumultuous times, probably more stressful than fun. Does it feel like football is coming back to fun this spring for you guys? 
I'm sorry. Can you say the last part again? I'm sorry. Does it feel like football is becoming fun again for you guys? Because I know last year was probably pretty stressful. Uh, yeah. It's. I mean, if you love the game, it's always gonna be fun. But I feel like yes, this spring, uh, guys were very excited to just get back out here and compete, and that's a big, big, big change from last last year. It was, uh guys is competing and pushing each other. And that's a big thing I've been seeing this spring. That's a lot different from last year. Just like I said, like newer guys coming in and pushing guys has been here to, to compete. And it's a lot of competition in each room. And that's something that we needed on the defense side of the ball, just guys competing. Thanks, Daniel. Fitz. Hey, Daniel, uh, following up on what Derek just asked about last season, it, you ended up playing a lot of football down the stretch. Um, you really didn't, you were out on the field for almost every snap. How, how much has that paid off for you now? Paid off a lot. Like I said, just like getting those type of reps and uh, playing, playing a lot of football, like going into this year, just, just the approach to the game, the mindset of the game, how to watch film and what to watch and stuff like that. And things that I need to work on, being able to see myself out there in the games and watch film on myself and critique myself and all those type of things. And just the uh, recovery aspect, because playing a lot of snaps like that, you need like recovery and take care of your body, certain things you eat, how you stretch, sleep, all that is just something that really like, not, like that uh, really helped me. And do you feel like uh, you're ready to be the guy on defense, kind of the the leader, the guy that runs around and makes a lot of plays? Yes, sir. That's what I came here to do. Perfect.